The next block we're going to discuss is a supraclavicular block. This is done a little bit more distal in the neck. The ultrasound probe is placed right above the clavicle, and you can see here the subclavian artery and the brachial plexus, which is located lateral and posterior to the subclavian artery. An important thing to realize with this block is that the lung is very close by. Here we can see the first rib and the pleura is below there. So uh, there is a risk of pneumothorax, which is why we most commonly do this block with ultrasound guidance as opposed to with just nerve stimulator technique. In this area, the nerves are at the level of the trunks or divisions in the brachial plexus, and they're fairly densely uh, close together. It, this block can be used for surgery of the shoulder, but it's important to make sure the upper trunks and divisions are blocked. If this block is done for hand surgery, it's important to cover the inferior regions uh, to cover the nerves that will go to the hand. If this block is selected for elbow or hand surgery and a tourniquet is going to be used, it's important to do a separate T2 intercostial uh, brachial block unless there's a contraindication to that. An intercostial brachial block is done with a subcutaneous ring of local anesthetic placed just distal to the axillary artery and the axilla.